Timothy, it's almost ready. Oh, boy! That's right. In a few moments, thanks to our cable provider and Doc's credit card, we'll soon be able to watch hundreds of movies without the commercials. Oh, yippee! Oh, man! Hey, Marty. What is it, Timothy? Did you hear that? Hear what? That! Oh, I don't know. It sounds like it's coming from the attic. Oh, man, what are we going to do? Hmm. One of us should probably go up there and check to see what it is. Yeah, man. <laughs> what? You want me to go up there? I don't even know what it is. Come on, Timothy. Don't be such a baby. <laughs> Look, if it's something that bad... You just scream for help, and I'll call 911. Uh, okay, man. Oh, boy. Well, while he's gone, I'll be able to watch these movies on TV without the commercials. Oh, no, Marty, please, help! Oh, call police! Call police! <sighs> Baby, what an overreaction. Please! <laughs> I need to have their own photo albums! Alright, let's move it, sicko! No, oh, please! You made me go by myself to see that weirdo! Um, sorry. Seriously, like, who would keep a collection of people's old photo albums? Huh. Mari, look at these! There's a time you guys captured Santa Claus? Okay, he should be coming. Any minute now. Okay, here he comes. Oh, my leg! We got him, Timothy! The date from when Cupid made Marty super romantic? When I kick you with my leg, you will soon show your true feelings for her. What? Ah! Cupid, you have opened my eyes for the first time. Aha, uh -huh, that's great. And here's one from when Marty took me to that horrible Texas Tom show. Whoa, Mac, to Texas Tom! Now, Marty, you tell Brenda what you what your secret is. Brenda, you annoy the crap out of me. What's this one? Guys, it's a photo album from the first year that we all lived here. Let me see that. Whoa. Hey, man, I used to look super fat. You still do, Timothy. Oh, yeah, right. I can't believe it's already been five years. Yeah, man. Yeah, the time sure has gone quickly. Hey, Marty, why don't you tell the story of how we all met? Are you serious, Brenda? We finally got the TV channels that play movies without commercials. Marty? All right, I mean, there's nothing good on there right now anyway. Well, where to begin? Well, it had been two years since I had graduated high school, and I was making the most of my time. Ah, you gotta love daytime television. Welcome back to the Texas Time Father Figure Now Show! Oh, Marty. Oh, hi, Dad. How's it going? So, did you try to look for a job today? You see, I was, but, you know, I think you and Mom make enough money already. Fine, I don't want to live in your house anyway. For the first time in my life, I was alone. But I knew where I wanted to go, and I was ready for my big welcome in the big city. Give me money. Oh, God. Give me money. What money? Money. I know you need money. Is it because your father left you when you were a baby? And that when? And that you had to uh, live in your house for 18 years. And do you know when he came back? 19 years later, so we can never see you. Is that why? Yeah. It's, 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 um, it's, it's not okay. Um, see you later, freak. Oh, and get some help, will you? At the same time, Doc Baxter was getting ready for work on a day that would change his life forever. You know, Douglas, we have to make sure that we make civilians seem that the police actually does something. Duh, like what, Buff? 
I don't know. But we got to try and think of a way. You go get me some coffee. I'll, I'll figure out what to do. Okay, boss. Good morning, Mr. Baxter. Good morning, officer. Going to work today, are you? Yep. What's up? Well, you know, we're just trying to make sure there's no problem. Dun -dun -dun! Here. Oh, okay, well, I'll talk to you later. The boss, I got you your uh, coffee. Ah! Ah! You. So, this is a thief. Don't do it, up, boss. I've been looking for this thief for years, Dr. Baxter. Uh, isn't that your dog? Or is it? No, Doc, you're getting awfully suspicious. They're awfully suspicious. Ah! I'll talk to you later. Okay. They're with this because I did, because I got you uh, two cubes of sugar instead of three. Exactly. Well, how's it going, Larry? Dude, like, I can't believe this! Well, what's happening? Virgie, are you fired from the circus? Because you came here to do your experiments. Ugh. Well, you still get my three meals square a day. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's okay. You know, you uh, you don't care, Doc. I do, too. Oh, you don't. You're saying that. I heard what you said. You just said. It's not fair, Doc. I, I never said anything. You're really cool. But, Doc, I just wish... Doc, you don't understand what it's like to be an animal. Well, is that really all my fault? Well, it's just, things are hard, man. I'm sorry about that. I'll see you later, Doc. Baxter! Yes? Baxter, my man! Yes? So, you have your... Well, how long have you been working here? A few years? Yeah. Well, the saying is your point. I'm... promoting you, man. Really? Yes. And well, Baxter, things are going to change around here. I know, too. Things are going to change big time. You, Doc, will no longer be working on the line from circus to slave. Experiment. There's something else no. you'll be looking for. What? Baxter! I want you to find the next stage of evolution! Well, you know what evolution is, don't you, Doctor? Oh, yeah. It's just theory that we evolved from monkeys, but I don't... Baxter! Don't argue with me! Now. You'll begin working with your new partner. Well, who, who's my new partner? Well, he's very rich and famous. But we also had to fire the person who worked on the next stage of evolution this morning, so he's probably going to be a little angry. Who, who, who is it? You'll find this stage! I can still find this stage! No, I'm not crazy! <laughs> Baxter! Who's my new partner? No matter what he says, he's totally crazy. Okay, but who's my new partner? Well, he's right over there. I'm going to let him in, okay? Okay. Hello, Doctor! Uh, My name's Charlie. Well, hello, Charlie. Yes, well, I'm very excited to be working on this. You see, I have a lot of money. I love money. You know I love money, right? Yes. Well, of course you know I love money. <coughs> you see, anyway. <coughs> I love that hat, but anyway. Um, you see, I always thinking, we go for the next revolution. Okay. You know, you know, I'm not even a scientist. I just boy people let me come in here. It's really fun. So, so, um, I mean, if you're not a scientist, shouldn't you get out? Oh, no. You see, I'm in the building, Baxter. Yes, and we plan to be working a lot. Yeah. So, should I be starting work internally? Okay. I need to perform some calculations, but... Ah, oh, calculations. Aren't they marvelous? Wait a minute. You're not that crazy well who was here, were you? No. Oh boy. Now, Doctor, now we go get ready for some wonderful experiments. Doctor. 
dear. Gosh, this is taking forever. It's been almost ten minutes and I'm pooped. Now I pooped this. Don't you don't dare. Don't dare! Listen to me! You know, I want you. I'm very bad on you. No. I have no idea what to do now. Do you? No. Well, I'm going to be leaving now. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Goodbye, Charlie. Yeah. Oh, my last. Oh. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Um, hello. Uh, yes, what? Doctor, what is it? I, I just got home from work. Oh, work. Hmm. Well, that's thank goodness. You know, we had to wait like almost five hours for you. What? What do you? What do you need to tell me? You want to go bowling? The bowling. You throw right. Oh uh, no. You throw big circles at sticks. Uh, no thanks. You should get some help, man. No, thank you. Why not? Well, I'm. Uh, pretty, yeah, why not? I've been pretty busy and I'm kind of tired. Busy. Busy hmm. with work. You know, Doc, I'm not trying to be mean, you know, but ever since you got this job, you know, you never do anything fun anymore. Duh, yeah! Well, oh, we're gonna play make you just like this guy. Yeah! Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It's just, this job has been really tough, but I need it to live. Doc, we know what you do when you're gone. What? We know that you still work. Doc, I really hope one day that you learn that work isn't all that can't, that's important in life. Okay, well thanks. Uh, yeah, the burden though. Doc, we never work at all. Ha ha ha, I mean, he means we never work on weekends. Uh, yeah, we work. I mean, we just don't spend all day at our donut shop, you know? See you guys later. Okay. Come on, boy. Time to watch our favorite show. The cops, right? Hello, Doctor. Hello, Charlie. So, how are things going today at the office? Pretty good. Let's just see, Doctor. What have been thinking about? What have we been trying to do? Yes. You should have totally been here this morning. Walking around in circles. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it is. But, Doctor, seriously though, um, I'm just curious, um, how exactly are we going to find the next stage of evolution? Well, it's just been bothering me all this time. I, I've been calculating things. Calculating? Really? Well, yes. The way evolution has been going, we've turned from scales to hair to skin. What was that? Okay. Uh huh, that's really nice, Doctor. But seriously though. What are you thinking about this whole next stage of evolution thing? Well, I think maybe we could do something that will change the world. What did you have in mind? Doctor? Surgery. Think about it now. Surgery? Doctor, do you know what I used to look like? I used to look like I had a plastic face. Really? Yeah, I did. I was really smaller, but plastic surgery came, and this is what we look like now. Plastic surgery is done for me, Doctor. But I'm, I, I don't, I don't think... I think that, well, we can market the next stage of evolution. Well, it says that we need a lot of permits and surgery oh, licenses and... set Doctor! What's the point of being called doctor if you're not, if you're never going to operate on anything? Because I, I'm not a, a, a doctor type of, um... Seriously, doctor. Let's make money. No, oh, I don't, I don't... Come on, doctor. Tell me when you're going the next stage. I'm going to be going now. Well, you have to stay with me. You're my partner. Doctor. I'm a millionaire. I don't care what you do. I just want that money, you know. 
See you later, Doctor. That's not... Great. I end up being robbed. <sighs> Where am I supposed to go now? What's that? A science lab? Hmm, I wonder if I could stay there. Sure, there'd be a lot of experiments on me, but if anything went wrong, I could sue them! By my calculations... Should be right. This should be good. <laughs> What's so great about science lab? Oh, oh no, a guy? Um, uh, um, what's his name? Um, um, um uh, let's see, what's his name please say? Dr. Baxter. Hey, Doc! Oh, you gotta get up. I mean, come on, man. Okay, okay. He was like that when I found him. He was like that when I found him. Oh boy, I gotta get out of here. Oh man. This has just been a, a terrible day. Gosh. Who am I supposed to have to help me now? That's what I'm doing, man. Who, uh, who are you? My name's Timothy the Turtle. Lenny, get over here. <clears throat> yes, Timothy. Uh -huh. This, look at this guy, it's a monkey. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a monkey. What's up? Yeah, I'm Timothy the Turtle. Uh, you said that. Um, what's wrong with this guy? He's got a brain disorder. Uh -huh. What happened? He was born. <laughs> See that guy Lenny put dynamite in my ears and exploded my brain. It was an accident. Uh-huh. So, um, um... Are you guys bums? No. Yes. No. Oh, there comes our other friends now. Other friends. Judging by the way this turtle is going, I don't know if I want to meet these other friends. Oh no, I don't know if I'm gonna like these other friends. Like, hello there, my name is Brenda the Bird. Steve, get over here. Um, who's Steve? Yes, Brenda. So, um, what's your name? Marty the Monkey. My friends include the hot bird and uh idiot turtle this should be interesting <laughs>